Felix, what you got going on today? Well, what we're doing here, we're gonna look at these two grills that we have here. And as you notice in this diesel industry now, uh, we got we got grills, man. I've seen grills go up to fifteen hundred dollars, and this is a pretty pricey project. Um, this costs three thirteen, I think it is, or three three thirty eight, yeah. And this was a lot cheaper. This is the older model. This is off of a two thousand eighteen truck, and this is off of a um, second, gen, second, second gen, second gen, fourth gen, ninety eight, two thousand, two thousand one. Yeah, I, I, re I recognize those. Yeah. It's kind of small, but what we're trying to do is we're going to integrate the newer model truck to the older stuff, and we're going to cut all this out. There's some sections we're going to cut out, and we're going to integrate it into this grill. All right. So, so explain to the to the guys how you're going to do the cut. What do you, what exactly? Well, what you're we're going to cut here. We marked all our tape here. But we're going to cut all the way along, uh, along, and what we're going to do is I made it bigger. You want to measure like a, a hundred times if you have to, just to cut one time, because this is a pricey grill. I don't care if it's aftermarket or whatever, it's pricey. You don't even want to know what this thing costs at the dealer. But yeah, it's, it's five, at least five and change. So, you know, it's gonna, and all said and done, it's going to be really nice. It's going to have this chrome part, all this black bezel. And it's going to say, you know, the big RAM from the newer trucks. Right. I heard that uh, the customer wants, uh, Instead of the RAM, the big three-letter RAMs in, go in uh, Chrome, he's going to do it in black. Yes. All right. So we're going to get to a cutting and enjoy the music while All right. I cut away. All righty. cutting these little notches in the grill with the dreamer. And you're going to have to do a little bit by a little unless you really good at eyeballing stuff. So here's the idea. So we put one, two, three, four, four grooves, right? And the same thing over here, four grooves. One, two, three, four. After removing the pieces that we wasn't going to use, because it's, you know, the the grill itself is for 2018, it's a little bigger. Remember working with a second gen and the grill's just smaller. That's just life. So when we set this in, it's going to, what we're gonna do is, we did the grooves because the front part of the grill is gonna protrude out. So these will fit in there like this, All right? They'll fit in like that. Same thing with the other side. Just can't hold it with one hand holding the camera. Sorry, no big production over here. No film crew behind me. But uh, I'll show you the, the end result, of course. See how it came out. So there, there you go, you get the idea. These over here uh, on the inside are gonna have to go a little deeper because of the, the concave of the, uh, of the grill. All right, guys. One last note that I want to bring to your attention when it comes to cutting out these notches. Of course, you're going to have to do a little bit by a little because you don't want to go overboard. But you want it so it sits 
You want it so this one is going to have to be sitting down a little lower. And you want it so this one is flat with that, flat with that. And this one's going to go down a little lower, like I said, because it's the curve. And same thing with the one on the right. The insides have to be cut a little more than the outside. You just want this to be flat. Because all we're going to do is we're going to epoxy, you know, little pieces like this to secure that grill. All right. I uh, decided to add some more support to the grill because, you know, we have a lot of vibration in our diesel trucks. So uh, Felix has suggested that I drill a hole here and here and uh, put a nut and bolt, but I just improvised and had a couple Carter pins. So I used a couple Carter pins to hold it down, all right? Same over here and same over here, just to make sure this bad boy doesn't go out, all right? I put four of them flat because these are the one that the uh, posts are even with the uh, frame, so put four of those flat. Uh, on the insides, I put one on the side over here and one on the side over here and one over here. So I'm going to let that dry and then flip it around and show it to you. That You had those ridges from the uh, bars that we sawed off of the uh, cut off the, the screen, the mesh. So what I did was I got some really good tough black tape. This one particularly is, a, is the safety tread. I use this because it has that nice little grit and it's shiny. And so it'll hide those marks. All right. required some adjustments because we're putting them in this section of the grill and what I had to do was cut out a little more deeper this way and this way I got it really almost close to the edge right there so this is what I had to do now uh, remember these have little clips so I'm still able, this has a little clip. I'm still able to use them when I fasten them down there. Right. The only problem I ran into was this bottom piece. It wasn't working when I was putting the rest of the uh, grill in. So I had to take it off on the posts. Now I'm debating what I should do because the fellas came out with an idea. Actually, let's throw something here like this. Hold on for a second. So it's supposed to go in like this. There you go. Right, like this. I couldn't make it work, so I had to take it off, like I said. So now I have an option of putting this back on, or the idea that the guys have, and that is to put a, uh, <laughs> are you ready? A Knight Rider uh, LED bar that goes from here to here. So it would be doing, I don't know. Well, I'm still contemplating. We'll see what happens. 